Hi guys, my name is Carly. And I'm Lauren, and today we're making burritos. Let's get into the craft. All right, everybody. Today you're going to need your clothespin, your three colors of yarn, a Sharpie, and a hot glue gun or a bottle of glue, it really doesn't matter. The first thing you're going to do is take your clothespin and take your lightest color of thread. You're gonna to want to use your lightest color because this is gonna make the face of your worry doll and you need it to be light to show the black Sharpie marker face. So you're gonna take your light thread and wrap it around the top of the clothespin. If you're having trouble, you can always glue the end, but here I didn't glue the end because I could just tuck it under the other string. You're gonna keep wrapping your light thread all the way around, keep wrapping it around the clothespin until you get down to the little indent in the clothespin. It's where the metal piece attaches to. It's just like a little like divot in it. That's gonna be where you stop wrapping your light thread. Then you're going to take your glue and glue the end of your light thread down. And then you're going to take, after you got that glued on, you're gonna take your second color and glue it down at the same spot. And then just like before, you're just gonna keep wrapping it around. And this second color you're gonna wrap, you're gonna basically divide the clothespin into thirds. So the first third was your light color yarn and the middle third is gonna be whatever other color you want. You're just gonna wrap it down about halfway down the handle, I would say, and then glue it, and then glue your third string to there. Now your third string, you have a couple options. For both of them, you're gonna wrap it down a little bit down the sides of, or the end of the clothespin, and this is where you can make a decision. You can have your worry doll be wearing pants, and if you want your worry doll to wear pants, then you wrap the string, your third color of string, down each side of the clothespin handle individually. Or you can make your clothespin doll wear like a skirt or a dress. You can take, instead of wrapping around each individually around each little handle piece, you can just wrap them together and it'll make a dress or skirt. Here you can see me doing the pants. The pants version is harder because you have to get the string in between the two little pieces of wood, and that is actually much harder than it looks. You can see already my string has slipped off and I'm having to fix it, but if you wrap it around and then hook it over the foot again, it should be fine. You could probably glue the end of your string to the bottom of the foot if you really wanted to, but if you just wrap it tightly around, you really shouldn't have a problem. So you're just gonna keep wrapping your string around either each individual piece of wood or the whole thing to get the bottom of your worry doll. So you're just going to keep wrapping your string around and around. You might want to build up the top section like you see me doing here, but you're just gonna keep wrapping it around until you get to the end of it. And when you get to the end of it, you're going to take it, get it to a nicer spot to glue, so like a flat side, and then just stick some hot glue on there or your Elmer's glue, whatever glue you're using. Mine kind of got a little ugly with the glue because I'm not the greatest with the hot glue gun, but with hot glue, you can kind of rub it out. But don't do this yourself. You can always have your parents do it for you because hot glue is hot and don't need to burn yourself on the glue. So as you can see, mine's got a little bit of a glue showing, but it's fine because the glue is clear and I'm gonna use the other side for my face anyway. So when I'm done with that, I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna make my nice little happy face of my worry doll. And now that you've made your worry doll, if you have a worry, just tell it to your worry doll and it'll keep it safe for you. I hope you enjoyed making worry dolls with us today. Make sure to tune in two weeks from now on August 2nd to make funky origami. Look at how fun it looks. Bye.